Hey everyone, welcome back. Chris McCormick joined by Blake Smith and Aaron from Titleist. And today we are out at the Titleist Performance Institute and we are checking out new Vokey SM10. So Aaron, thanks for joining us. If you wanna give us a little rundown here, sure. what, uh, what do we have to look forward to in new SM10 Wedge? Well, you know, obviously we're always gonna keep that beautiful Vokey package that we're, we're used to seeing. So uh, great shapes, great looks. Nice new thing that we're going to introduce this year that uh, we don't have directly in front of us, but we are going to introduce a new finish. So rather than our brushed steel finish, we've come up with this new nickel finish that's a little bit flatter, a little bit darker. So it's that perfect tweener finish in between Tour Chrome and Jet Black. Nice. So something fun to look forward to. Also, you know, from top to bottom, we made uh, made some improvements. So. Uh, if you look at the overall shape of each of these wedges, what you'll notice, especially in the lower lofted wedges, so say like a pitching wedge or a gap wedge, um, one is the shape. You're going to look at a very nice blend from the hosel area into the leading edge. A little less offset look to it and just a, a great overall pitching wedge, gap wedge shape that should blend really well off of any, of, uh, any set of irons into a set of wedges. Nice. The other thing that we looked at and we got feedback on from uh, our tour staff and, and other players was the, the CG location we needed to, to move a bit. They felt like our, our pitching wedges in the Vokey line may be a touch easier to turn over. So we took a look at where our CG location was relative to um, our, say our T100, CB, MB iron sets, even T200 and T350, and we realized that as irons continue to progress, we need to progress with them. So we took a look at where the CG location was and we moved it a little more toward the center. Okay. That's gonna help uh, our pitching wedges and gap wedges blend really well with iron sets. So as you move from a nine iron into a pitching wedge or a pitching wedge into a gap wedge, the, the sensation as you're you know kind of going through the set is gonna be much more similar. Nice. Yeah, because I know that tour players never really want to hit a wedge left. So right. if the CG starts to move out more toward that toe, um, that's just going to be a good thing. And that's going to be on the pitching wedge only, or is it into like the gap wedge as well? Into the gap wedges. Okay. So it's, it's this nice progression. It, what people might not know is, you know, the CG on some of these is always a little bit heelward, even in, in iron sets throughout, throughout the industry. Um, it's just a, a relative way of looking at how uh, a club's balanced. Uh, if it gets too far out toward the toe, then you're going to have a high lofted club that wants to dynamically loft a bit too much, mm -hmm. and it's not going to go where you want it to. A couple other things that we've also done, uh, I think you probably noticed it during your fitting, as you're putting each of these wedges down, within the, the category that you're looking at, say you're, you're putting down two 58 degree wedges, they should look identical other than how high the leading edge is sitting up off of that, off of the deck. So what we took a look at was, you know, as we would change our grinds or change the amount of bounce on a wedge, you do a measurement to, through the ground plane. Since we do all these in CAD now, we can actually measure them within space. So now what we're doing is, instead of looking at everything relative to how far something is from the ground or up or down from the ground, we can actually duplicate the, the profile exactly. And the only thing that will change is the sole or slightly some hosel length. Nice. That's, that allows us to manip manipulate CG location, but also have an identical look r within the set. So if you put down a K grind or an M grind, they should look identical. And the only performance difference is gonna be how it goes through the turf. Yeah, as far as fitting goes, when I can put the Vokey in front of somebody, so say we, we, we land in Vokey, which a lot of times in our fittings we do, um, now I got to figure out what grind, what bounce works for the person. If I can just start putting it in front of them and, and not let them know, that's the best way to go. Yeah, as close as they were before, now they're even better. So that's one of those things that we're just continuing to try and refine and improve all of these things. And then the fun stuff under the hood, this is all the, you know, chassis type stuff. The fun stuff under the hood is in the, the higher lofted wedges, 
we're looking at, we, we've moved the CG up and more forward. So I, I think you all remember the cool diagram with SM8 where we had that, those, those two balls, yeah. you know, coming off the front of the face, showing how far CG moved forward. Yeah. That was great. That allowed players to square the face up really effectively, really easily. Um, and return it to where, where they had set it up. The neat part about this is, you know, for, with SM9, we moved it up a little bit higher to get that flight down. Now this is a little bit of the best of both worlds where it's as far, almost as far forward as it was with eight, but even higher than it was with nine. So you're gonna get this nice penetrating ball flight, maximum amount of spin, maximum amount of control. Love that. That's why I play Bokey, because I wanna hit those I want to hit the controlled spinners, and it just it just depends on kind of what the person wants to hit, but majority of the time that's what people are going to try to hit. Tour players love hitting that low flighted, high spinning controlled shot, and our job is just to make it make it easier for them to do their job and make it easier for everyone else to hit that type of shot as well. It's it's the most accurate and the most controllable way of playing playing your wedges around the green. Hundred percent, and revisiting grind offerings. So Vokey has more out there than anybody, giving us in a fitting environment an opportunity to really fine tune turf interaction and for that better player, giving them an opportunity to manipulate that wedge to hit the shots they like. Absolutely. So taking a look in our bag of goodies here, I'm, uh, I'm noticing a couple of grinds that uh, I have not seen available on the retail offerings before. So at the tail end of SM9, we brought in the T grind in a 60 and 50, 58 degree. That's going to stay in the line. One that we also brought back, just because you know set makeups are getting the lofts are getting stronger, we felt like we needed to bring the 54M back in as a lower to medium bounce wedge, uh, just because there's so many more 54 degrees going in people's bags because of the stronger lofted irons. Uh, absolutely love seeing a couple of those additions uh, added and uh, a couple of fan favorites coming back. This is exciting stuff. It's always fun when uh, Vokey launches a new line. So definitely looking forward to adding this to our fitting matrix. And make sure, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. And when you're ready to book your next fitting and check out new SM10, book your fitting at your local TruSpec. We'll see you next time.